here with Dr. Michelle Ponti, who's the lead author of New CPS Guidelines on Screen Time for Young Children. So that's preschool age kids, zero to five. Welcome, Dr. Ponti. Thank you. Can you tell me why it, this is the time to update the guidelines? This is replacing an earlier statement that came out in 2017. Yeah, so thanks for having me, Jen. Um, the impetus for the screen time update was really twofold. First, the already increased use of screens in this age group and actually across all age groups, as we discovered, um, was exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. And second, new research is continually being published and finding that excessive and purposeless screen time is harmful to developing brains. Okay, so let's get into that a little bit more. What is the biggest risk? What is lost when we see excessive screen time in this age group? Well, I'm sure my, my colleagues and uh, clinicians and parents uh, across the globe are seeing more behavior problems. We're seeing more attentional delays, social emotional skill delays, sleep problems, vision problems, and increased obesity associated with the sedentary nature of screens. It's coming into our clinics and our daily practices every single day. Mm -hmm. And it really has become fully integrated into so many lives of the families that I know that you and your colleagues uh, see all the time. So is there a time and place for screen time in this age group? Well, you know, screen use can certainly be okay if it's educational, if it's age appropriate, if it's fun, social time, like enjoying a show together with family. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's also a time and place for video chatting, especially in young infants who are with a parent and they're trying to maintain long distant relationships. So the screens have actually been very useful tool throughout the pandemic and beyond um, to allow for these relationships and that continuing to work, work from home, um, education. So absolutely use the right way with a purpose. Um, absolutely a, a great tool for daily life. But on the other hand, right, we know from clinical experience and the research evidence that too much screen time really is affecting brain development. And also researchers are even looking into how screen time may be impacting on brain growth. There's some newer research that is utilizing specialized functional MRI scans and they're starting to demonstrate some brain differences in those areas of the brain that support things like literacy, executive function, language skills, in preschoolers with excessive or high amounts of screen time. Mm 